Evening, everybody. Evening. As announced, I am the Bard of Matrimonio, population 12. <laughs> well, right now, 11. That's <laughs> uh, here. I came here for the first time three years ago last April uh, for a thing called Poultry Con or something or other. Anyway, fast. Uh, and it was supposed to start at 10 o'clock, and they changed it to noon, but I didn't get the email, so I showed up at 10 o'clock. It was a little chilly, but if you went down the street a couple blocks and sat in the plaza, there there was a bench and it had sunshine. <laughs> Pretty attractive, because uh, I'm an old car. Anyway. So, a Saturday morning drive-by in Norfolk. <laughs> From this bench, I can tell the approaching Mustang parks outside. Holland mars its bright ebony finish, trapped by the damp from last night's rain, baked into place by the bright morning. He's slow in his U-turn, taking his time in all of the intersection. A low strunk slung driver, premeditated slouch generating a low rider gangsta effect. Armorall gleams the sun back at me. The treads whisper as he cuts the wheel hard against the crown of 35th Street, keeping well clear of the shallow grooves slicing across Newport Avenue, carrying the rain's remnants to storm drains in the Lafayette River. He stares hard at his second circling behind black wraparound shades. His mirror mask expression might be anger, resentment at an out-of-place intruder, but not idle curiosity. Idle is one pass, not two. He's no junkie looking for a mark to roll and feed his disease, stabilize his day. A heroin act will get up early if the sickness wakes him and forces him outside. But no street junkie drives that kind of money. Not a dealer or even a dealer shorty monitoring the hoods for rivals or narcs. Saturday morning doesn't exist in their world. They hear about it on television and wonder what it's like. On his third circuit, he drops his reflecting mask just enough to expose a predatory glare. I don't think he likes me. I'm beginning to not like him. <clears throat> a friend of mine named Willie Crockett was raised on Tangier Island when he was a kid. A long time ago, because he's older than me and I'm older than dirt. Uh, <laughs> bunch of guys would get together on Saturday night, drunk as lords, uh, and uh, spout poetry off of the, one of the bridges there. Shakespeare mostly. The bridge between now and then, when water was the road most traveled and the daily tide governed time, Frank took Jimmy in tow from knee-high to bourbon from King James to Shakespeare, from Romeo's longing to Iago's rage spouted on summer nights against the star-speckled sky, off a twisted drunken bridge of splittered gray timbers that span Siltladen Catton Creek, joined the virtuous of Tangier Island to the sinners his father warned him against. His mother shook his head over. Bent now with time, sin lived well, he admires the past and the life by, cast by bridges burning before crossing. Moments of hesitation is life's only regret. Found poems. This one is essentially a true story. I read an article in my youth extolling found poems gave it as, a, as an example, push for coin release, and dribbled merrily on, extolling the virtues of found poetry, singing the praise of literature that surrounds us if we only look. I searched with all the inebriation expectation, but even my callous self soon realized that the author had dealt not with hard facts, but rather a hard deadline and 2,000 words to fill. Yet I never stopped looking checking the lost and found. A pastoral elegy was beyond my hope, an Italian sonnet, an undreamt dream, but perhaps a dirty limerick or a chaste haiku might come my way. Today I entered Watson's Hardware and Realty, purveyor of nuts and bolts, guns and ammo, cottages and waterfront estates, and 
bumper stickers. Until now, only the one blast from a gl glass case obscuring my vision of 38s and 9mm new and used, with ammo for each bargain price. The exclamation point guarantees it, as it does the accuracy of his pre printed adhesive low opinion of the local populace. At $2.99, also a bargain. But now another, trumpeting politics, invites me to put my money where his mouth is, let it ride my bumper beside my trailer hitch. I present them as display. For a small town, this one sure has a lot of assholes. <laughs> Donald Trump for president. 